All right, this is a package from Poland from Mantuka SNK. I picked several of his locks, and none of them have been from Poland yet. So I thought we might try. Here is a LOB. This is a Polish lock. It comes with a key, does to work, but it doesn't want to come out for some reason. You have to kind of pinch it, it looks like. So something in there is just a little bit loose. But anyway, there's what your bidding looks like. And let's go ahead. Let's try the easy way first, fella. I'm getting lazy. It's late in the afternoon here. I'm going to try again with bottom of the keyway. And let's see. I'm going to try this. Peterson, it's a Bogota copy, but this one is, I think it's 18,000, so it'll fit up inside of these tightly curved and paracentric keyways. So we can rake up a fault set on here and then pick it from there. <laughs> or not. There you go. <laughs> There's no security pins in this LOB. <laughs> so, enough of that. Let's, that's too short. Let's, uh, Let's take another one. Uh, that also is a LOB. We won't do that one. Let's try. This is a Polish lock as well. This is a Gerda, and it comes with again. You can see the Yale style keyway, very tight. Looks very similar to the LOB that I just picked. So let's try the easy way on this one too. What do you say? Had picked Gerda locks before. They make a super secure version of a lock that I failed in a video to even come close to picking. Let's go ahead and try the easy way and do it the same way. Just a very light tension. Let's see if we can either rake a fault setup or if we can just rake it all the way open. No fault set, nothing yet. So we may have a hope in this Gerda. These guys, they know how to make locks. Okay, if you don't get it after 15 or so strokes, recock it. Try it again, because chances are you overset something. I got a little bit of a fault set on it. <laughs> and our core is popping out of there. Check that out. Let me take a look at that. Let me pull it out of there. I don't know if you can see that. That core sliding out because we don't have a retaining pin on the back, but we do have it open. So why don't we go ahead and dump it? I mean, it's too easy not to, right? No security pin, I can bet you money in this Gerda. Okay, don't want to mess it up. I don't have a key. Okay, five pinner. Standard, 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 standard. And I know these are going to be standards too. There's no question. As quickly as we rake that, yep, standard, standard. I'm not even going to. That is also a standard, standard. Standard. This is the Polish equivalent of a quick set called, they call it the Gerda. Anyway, Mantuka, thank you for the lock, sir, or all of these locks. I'll be getting to, we got, I'm looking forward to the Fana. I don't know who made that. I'm assuming that uh, it's a Polish lock, but I've been kind of putting it off because the key does not work unless you pull it out a little bit. So there's something not quite right with this lock. And there we go. Come on. There we go. It does work, but there's uh, something not quite right with it. But we're going to get to it. We've got two more to go, fellas. Thanks for your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. All right, whoever gets this girdig next is not going to have quite an easy job. You're not going to be raking it open. I've put some pretty good stuff in here. Got a very deep spool pin. I've been saving that for several years. We have an older Asa pin. We got a barrel pin. We have a pretty nice homemade 
serrated pin and then another standard commercial spool out of an ASO lock. So I've also bitted it kind of eh, not too difficult until you get to this last pin. You're gonna have to get by these really tall pins to get that deep cut one but it'll be a little bit more of a challenge than what it was. Anyway Good luck, guys. What's up? It's your boy Skitzo Voice, professional beatboxer here, reminding you to subscribe to Bosnian Bill. All right, so check it out. Subscribe to Bosnian Bill.